Hello everyone, welcome to a Foreign Farming in the Philippines. So if it's not one thing, it's another. The dike itself has a, it's eaten itself out. I'm guessing a mud crab had a, a little party in there making a channel. It's about, I don't know, probably only five feet down from this bank, but it goes down to like eight feet over there. And that's a pretty good amount of water that at the moment is leaking out, but it also leaks in. And there's another one down here. This one's not quite so bad. There's still quite a bit of water going out of there. And Jason, when you were saying there's a third one? Well, if there's only one egress, they probably join together. Like, you see where that stick is in that NEPA? Yeah. Um, that's where both of them were burbling. All right. They were going out at the time, but as I said, the water was higher. So Tatai, what do you think? I think we're just we're gonna have to dig down from the top yeah. and just fill it in. There's a big channel here, Tatai. I mean it's big on this side. So you, digging in from the sides, not you could have a problem all over there. Alrighty, well we brought shovels. Yeah. So time to get shoveling. Time to get shoveling. All right, well, we've dug down quite a bit all along here. I was expecting to find a, a cavity underneath here because the water was moving so fast, but it's only on the, it was only on the ends. It, it has undercut back about 18 inches here, I think. But I think the thing to do now is just uh, pack that in by foot, by, with our feet and because I'm having a hard time getting any more of this out because it's just like glue and stuff I'm thinking maybe have Tatai just uh, do the dance. smashing grape dance on it and fill it back in what do you well. think? Yeah, I mean, we hit a couple pockets that were for sure saturated. Yeah, we've hit standing water a couple times, right in the center. So it was definitely a little stream going in there, and I could, and I had, and I, when I took a shovel full out here, I actually saw a hole. So I'm right at the roof of the uh, channel right wow. here. I think I finished digging this out, and then just uh, stomp that down back in there and we can refill uh, it. now we know where it is we'll monitor it right yeah we'll stick it on both ends exactly well the thing is if we don't get it pretty good it's just going to eat it again yeah. well that's what we dug and i think this is a combination between this tree here there's a tree there are a lot of roots we're digging through mud crabs so mud crabs and roots leads to dike failure <laughs> on this side Jason's been digging here for a minute, and right there, you, still got you water can see a hole. I mean, and there's holes all in this. Yeah, but the things are seeping this way. So, and it's really, it's really loose. So, we're going to continue this back another, I don't know how many feet, Jason, three or four? Well, until, or all the way. Until the water stops, like yeah. that's our gauge. Tata's going along right now and looking for more holes. holes. Yeah. And it looks like I'm looking for a way to sink up to my knees here. Yeah. On. Okay, folks. This is still a foreigner farm in the Philippines. But uh, we kind of found uh, where the conduit for the water is because uh, we just increase the flow dramatically just by digging this out so the the hole is clearly deeper than we thought yeah, it's, and it's deep it's deep and digging in this stuff is just a ton of fun guys it's just a ton of fun Tatai, best saturday ever brian i oh, see yeah. i can tell you're loving this I'm loving it and the Canuck schmuck is loving it too. So, all right. Well, I just want to give you just.
just a taste of what uh, we're doing this Saturday afternoon. No barbecue, no lechon, just digging in mud. Stay tuned. All right. Tough ice hit pay dirt there. Yeah, listen, to big hole. listen to the sound of that. Yeah. You can see the flow. That's at least what, what would be coming out of a six inch pipe. So all we can do is keep going. Well, we've removed the sandbags. And they were worked. And they worked. Because we got a torrent coming right now. And I still, I don't think that's a, I don't think that opening is clear. I think there's still a sandbag or two right in front of it. When Tatai pulled one bag out of the way, it was like we were worried Tatai was going to go with him. Because it is not playing, it's not well, playing around going out. But I can, a, I can see a, I can see a bag right there in the opening. Yeah. It's two feet wide, Brian, and how deep? What, 20 inches deep? Uh, High. four feet. Well, no, I mean the opening. The, the opening is two feet square. That's a lot of volume of water. Yeah, I can tell by the way it's bubbling there that it's. Uh, it's a witch's brew. It's not. It's not a, a complete opening. And can our, water's moving on out. And Brian, can our little gate withstand this? I'm hoping it can. Time will tell. I just went down in there and removed uh, the bag that was the two bags that were blocking half of the flow, and it was like an immediate torrent. I got a semi sound. We need an electric generator hooked up to that. There you go, guys. All right, we've we've messed around so long that the yeah, there's nothing to see. Yeah. Shows over. There's folks. so much water now. Yeah. If we had done this very early in the morning, there would be no water where Tatai is standing. When we got here this morning, the water was below that culvert, and now. Maybe. Yeah, but Tata, we how many it. how many inches from the bottom, Tata? To the, that much? Inches. Okay, all right. Yeah. Well, it's more than two feet. The other side. Maybe okay. four inches also. Four inches also. All right. Well, so then we might have to put a form in there, Brian. Well, any form that we put in will have to stay there because there's no way to take it out. No, we, you, remember you were saying you're going to go in the conduit. You're going to go in the conduit. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, there's a conduit that runs here, folks, so it's two feet square. Brian, um, here, just wait a second. Let me take a picture here. Um, um, Brian, Brian's going to go in that conduit. <laughs> yeah. I'm picking on him right now. But it's just that... Um, Yeah, Tatai likes to do this by himself. This is Spider-Man in action. Uh, Red, Tatai's uh, young son, is uh, Spider-Man, and he learns it from the best. This is the real Spider-Man. Now, I was just thinking, like, I know I know what you're saying, if we have a form down there, but because that is so much higher, we'll be shoving a fair amount of concrete in there, whereas if we just have a form, I just don't want to waste all that concrete. I don't want to waste it either. I mean, I think we the should. The is clear. Yeah. No mud. Okay. No mud. Well, there was so and much there, water pressure. Is yeah. there when the chute goes this way, Tatai? Is it smooth underneath, or is it go up or down? Is it just smooth floor? Yeah. 
Well, so rough. I mean, what I mean is it Rough like, land? Is it like this? Yeah. Is it goes under? Yeah. Or is it like this? No, no, it's straight. And the walls it's also? It's nice and smooth. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Like a uh, box culvert. Okay. You know, we have to I, give... I think if we just if we just set that barrel down right at the opening... Uh, Maybe that barrel throw that side. No, so Tatai. put it on that side now? No, but Tatai, imagine having to raise it when the water is this high. We would have to build a no. platform. We have to build a platform. Uh, before I will be here in a look, no water. Yeah. But, but I just don't understand, what is the disadvantage to putting it here? Mm, we put a small bug in the front. Yeah. Why? Well, because it's easy to, it's easy to, I can understand what he's saying. It's easy to make the form and it's easy to remove the form after you pour the cement. If we just make an additional box out there. If you not, uh, well, guys, we're going to come here at 7 o'clock tomorrow and this is going to be empty. Yeah. Going to be bone dry. Nice and easy to work with. Don't have to build a form, have to have to do anything. And we could literally drop that to the bottom, our bed of cement. What the heck was that? Okay. And um, and we're we're good. We're golden. You know what we could. I do? don't want to mess down you know there. What we could do Tatai. Here's what we could do. Easy. Instead of having to use plywood that we would have to take out or leave, we have to leave it there. You just use this against the wall. And that'll be our so barrier. This goes against the wall. It won't be a, a stiff barrier, but we'll be able to get. You can pack against we, it. We can pack the cement against this, yeah. 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 And just leave it, or cut it. Yeah, but this won't rot, or this will be, you know. It will eventually. But, yeah, in time, but uh, not not in any short duration. And if it does rot, it'll just but go out to the ocean. Just cut. Uh, well, maybe uh, 20 minutes, no water, just enough. 20 minutes and it'll set enough yeah, yeah. Know, we'll, even if we have to just figure it out as we go I don't think I don't think it's going to be a problem cementing around this barrel and cementing it in and creating a seal yeah and it's just like Tata what I like about this is here we got a natural point where um, I like I keep on going back to my little carriage system here and a, and a pulley here lifting that up will require a significant amount of force so it'll be a lot of hydraulic pressure against it and you know, and you just felt how hard it was to. Yeah, put and, and, and we want mechanical advantage. Whereas out there, I don't know how we're going to build. You're going to have to go in and pull it out by hand, and it's just going to. Well, the only way would be to build a dock. See, I don't want to build a dock, guys. I just want to come here tomorrow, throw this down in the cement, and we got ourselves a gate, and we're done. Yep. Um, we got another gate here to, to support this one. We are simple and big. <laughs> Okay, Brian, you, I'm going to leave you to discuss. It's a valid point. Two gates is better than one. But Tatai, that is such a pain in the bum messing with that. It's not that the Filipino way doesn't work. Yeah, it's it just works. that the Filipino way takes a lot of work and it takes four or five men. And the problem is, and we discovered, is we don't know it's not working until we come back the next morning. And, and it's, it's not it's working. All, and it's all yeah. water drained. Because... It didn't seal up at the bottom. No, I, uh, it let the finish. We make uh, another cover here to support the pressure. And the well, pressure is very hard. Yeah, but okay. Well, you mean when we open it? Yeah. So we, we finish, well, I can, under, I can I, understand I that. that. But no, we're no. going to cover this. We're going to cover this with cement. The, it's going to be even the top. Thing. Even the Our top. Top, top is going to be covered. Yeah. Tata. Now I see what you're saying. Like I wouldn't mind, as, as I told you, if we have well, we don't have a Hilti gun, but uh, just bore into that and put some rebar across there. No, no, if, here we put another. Why, Tatai? Um, the reason why the pressure is maybe it's gonna, slow. but it, well, the flow will be slow. The pressure yeah. will be the same. The pressure will be the same, and that's it's, the issue. It's standing it's water is standing water. The flow, you could have a three or four boards in the bottom if you were worried about the oh, flow okay. cavitating this barrel, but, uh, but... But we have to make it, that's why we have, uh, to, in, we, we have to encase this thing in cement so it does not shift, move, buckle at all. Yeah, exactly. And then 
and then we're good. Please. Like the water will not puncture this, will not drive this. But what will happen is if we don't do a god of sealing this, yeah, it'll start to wiggle and jiggle and, and, yeah. and then we lose our seal. But if we totally cover this thing in cement, then our issue at that becomes, does this gate seal? Right. And if it's covered in cement, Tata, it will be, it's, it'll be an opening just like that opening. Yeah. It, it will except not, it'll be round. Yeah, except it'll be round. And we're going to lose a little bit of the volume conveyance because this isn't exactly match up to the dimensions of this conduit of that water. Uh, I would imagine we would get half the flow out of this barrel as we do that conduit. We conduit. It does. But yeah, we drained, I don't know, we drained this pond in about an hour and it was, I don't know, a foot deep over 25% of it. Well, you can see the mud. Yeah. Anyway, Tata, I, I'm not saying no. But how about we try it this way first and see. And if it's, if as you say, if it cavitates, if it starts buckling, well, that means we did a, a shitty, pardon me, we did a lousy job on the concrete. But if it does, then I'll, I'll understand your point. But I, but Brian has a very valid point. Like you're, you're talking about like the, the, the hydraulic pressure that's going to be making this thing move will be the same no matter how long you extend your tube. Because eventually we're, we're, we're pulling an area high pressure to low that's that's flow and it we're pushing it into this barrel eventually so no matter where we make the opening of this this thing is always going to have to be able to withstand that pressure that means it has to be locked in place by concrete your board thing would work i'm not saying it wouldn't it's just that it wouldn't it's it just not necessarily going to change yeah. and then we'd have to butt up what i'm saying is seal. is that it won't it won't make it dry where the barrel is that's yeah because we know that doesn't work yeah now in time <coughs> I don't mind the idea of us, once we're here for years and making, you know, that this is a success and working, building, an, I mean, uh, having another uh, check and a check there and, you know, maybe even a slider thing here just because we're bored and we're making stuff. But for now, this is a very, this, this, I think this is a workable thing. But we'll find out whether those rubber tires actually form gas. It's <laughs> been my worry all along. But. It will work. Okay. That's right. That's what we hope. All right. Well, I'm yeah, gonna end this a, one there's up. There's a ton of people out there, Brian, Thank you guys. that are just cheering and w praying to God that this just blows up. I mean, the, oh, the, the, yeah. that he actually, we actually created an explosive device. Uh, the, you know, all those lovely people out there that actively cheer for people to fail and to to lose their the, livelihood. The D minus crowd, I call them. I know, but it's just, I mean, it's something to see, and it, and the, the the pomposity of them, the piousness that we're in the right and they're in the wrong, and we want people to fail and we want things to to fall apart. So let's hopefully it works, and if it doesn't, uh, we'll make it. We'll make another one work because we're not going to give up. There you go. Yeah. So are we going to go back there and do some digging? We should. We should plug that. I all think. right. Because this is all we. All right. When we left this, and went over and played around with the barrel for a while, and now we really can't tell where the leak is. But we're gonna we're gonna do some more digging anyway because we have to dig this out it has to be done so we're going to widen this and go all the way back to this tree stump i guess and then just refill it i think that's the plan yeah yeah so i'm good for about another hour we didn't plan on this being well we didn't know we just but we didn't think we would be out here this long and, and nobody brought any water or food. It's about lunchtime already. We spent a couple hours, I guess, two or three digging on this. And then another two hours getting this getting the mud bags out and waiting for the pond to drain. So we're gonna we're gonna give our final little push here until I say, uh, the train's leaving. If you guys are uh, riding instead of walking, it's time to go. That's the fire, man. Yeah. Uh maybe. Going that bank. I just wanna so we're gonna do a little more digging. Sure, yeah, go ahead. No, I was gonna say, can you I, grab once you're done with yours? Can you grab my camera? Because I mean, sure, uh, why not? For posterity's sake, I, I, I gotta get this on film. I actually don't think I was recording a minute ago. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I just. Oh. Uh, I'll I'll say again okay, what I was gonna coconut? say. One more coconut, Tata. No, Tata, I shoved it in. It's like it's about a foot. And a half, uh, like, uh, like so we've, 40 centimeters. We've stopped digging because the roots on this tree are just 
they're, it's just too they're too thick and we're squirming around in our bare feet because you can't use shoes in this mud because you'll just it, it doesn't help any to wear shoes except pushing in a shovel but your shoes end up weighing five pounds because they're just full of mud and you're you can actually you can actually grip with your toes a little bit and get a little bit better traction than you can with muddy slippers or sandals so anyway we've come in about eight feet on this bank and the, the underwater channel has been collapsed. There's another four feet here that we're never going to get because of this tree. The roots are just too intense. So Tata had the idea to, hey, let's, do, let's shove some coconuts in it and uh, backfill it and we're done. So we're hoping that's going to work. And that's, and that's what our problem came from, Brian. It wasn't all these, I mean, I talked about it, my, all, all these crab holes and stuff. I mean, those, those do be, can be a problem, but this is root. This tree just pushed, you know, created a bunch of voids with the true system. Well, I think, yeah, I think it created a bunch of small voids, but yeah. I, that's, no, a, they, they, that's, yeah. a, that's a crab hole. You think so? Yeah. I don't know. All the way. Well, I mean, I can't say the crab didn't have a difference, but I know right there with the amount of roots that we were feeling right there, it, it was a... Really? It's, it's, okay. it's part of the problem. All right, chore and a half, getting this uh, shoveled in and out, but it's complete now. And we're just hoping, we're just hoping that it's watertight. Because I don't know, it's one or two o'clock in the afternoon now, so this is three men, about four hours plus of digging. I uh, don't want to have to do it again. Now there are two more smaller ones back here that Tata dug out a little bit. One, one there and, and one there. These mud crabs just like to burrow. Same thing with crawdads, crayfish in the States. Uh, they can go back 18 feet. And so I wouldn't see why these mud crabs wouldn't have a problem either. And the total width of that channel that had been dug by that mud crab and the roots was about, what is that, an easy 12 feet, maybe 14. Hey Brian, see that water? Yep. So it's much deeper. About a trickle. You can see that water coming in right there. Let me see if I can get it clearly. Uh, that's coming in under about six feet of bank. So that is just, you know, it is just a tiny amount. And who knows how long it's been there, but nonetheless. We'll dig it out, but I think we can just dig out that point and then dig it on Just the dig side. it to the bank and yeah. yeah to the bank, to, well, to the levee, where the levee's high. Yeah. Digging out this levee and going down no, 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 six no. feet and moving three or four cubic meters of mud in the mud, in the slime, is just not fun. Really? What do you think, Jason? Do you <laughs> want think, to, how would you like to spend every, every day like this? I think it's more fun in the Philippines. Uh, and everybody needs to get, uh, you know, to their wives, uh, fish ponds and shrimp ponds and get playing in the mud. Everybody needs to do I that. I think that is, that is good advice. So, we're going to go uh, step in the river and get a little bit cleaned up. And we're back early in the morning to get that barrel set. And hopefully, this is held. All we can do is hope. Back actually, because I stepped on that a few times, we need to throw another couple shovelfuls in there. Alright, thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.